Hey, Taurus Collective. What's up, Bull Gang? I hope you all are doing amazing. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Let's pull some cards for you. We are doing a fortune cookie reading, okay? Hence the fortune cookie cards here. But let's start with one of these. I'm aiming for love, but, you know, whatever comes out, because these cards are not specifically about love. And I just kind of want to deal with whatever you need to hear. So we have paralyzed, the fell in reverse, okay? And I'm being told to take it that way, but I'm going to read it. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear, but standing still can be just as frightening. At least moving forward can create change, and it came out in reverse. I like that it came out in reverse. So for some of you, you're coming out of this. You have a fresh set of eyes. Some of you could be on a Taurus Gemini cusp, or a Gemini could be involved. We have speechless. Didn't I tell y'all the other day somebody wants to speak up? It says, when you cannot find your own words to express how you feel, find an alternative way to communicate. What you have to say is important for others to hear. I feel like somebody may be coming out of like this, I don't know, kind of quiet energy and wanting to talk to you. Y'all, when I do these readings, I swear to y'all, some of this stuff, it starts manifesting in my life the same day. And I'm just like, what in the heck? So yeah, there could be someone that wants to talk to you, especially those of you on the twin flame journey, because I know my twin flame, he'd be burning my phone up and I'm just like, it's just like, what? <laughs> what is happening here? But anyway, let's get into it. So um, I was about to go off on a tangent on the twin flame journey only because I feel like I need to say this. I'm not going to go too deep into it. But what I will say is if some of you are on a twin flame journey, I want to encourage you because let me tell you, my twin flame and I are not romantically connected, but he's going to be my friend for life. And we even had a hiccup with that. But, you know, I just can't stay mad at him because when you have a twin flame, you can. So for some of you, the connection with someone might feel like this. It might feel like a lot of push and pull, a lot of on again, off again, hot and cold kind of energy for those of you who are romantically involved. But even if you're not, if you just choose to just be friends like we are, it's like that person will always need you. Like there's a certain level of support that you give to them that other people just cannot satisfy. So the two, two, two on the time. So there's going to be this desire for them to always have you in the loop and what's going on in their life, you know, especially big major changes here. So I don't know. I feel the need to say that, but some of you could be really struggling on your twin flame journey. And I've been there before and I didn't understand it. And, you know, sometimes that can be a little bit hard to navigate. So I do feel like for some of you, you might feel like a little bit stuck in your journey. And I just want to um, encourage you. To stay optimistic if this is who you want to be with and if it's not somebody that you want to be in a relationship with, but you still want in your life. Because your twin flame, you just can't throw them away. You can. I mean, I do think that there are karmic cycles that goes on between you two, but there's something just important about me saying this to you all. Like, don't give up. And sometimes, I was thinking about this yesterday, sometimes you and your twin, I, I've seen two commercials on TV and they talked about the future and your first card is future. That's crazy. It said a message from your future self. And I feel like um, I was thinking about this yesterday. Sometimes people come into union later in life after they work out all the kinks. If you do have a union, it may be later in life. So just give yourself some grace. But anyway, so we have future as your first card out. It says you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, get social. I'm sorry. Great social fun awaits. So there could also be, I don't know, meeting new people, making new connections um, as you travel, just being excited about seeing the world getting out there. Okay. Why am I putting that up there? Okay. So what else? And I also feel like that's a message that, you know, this can work out in the future, even if it doesn't right now. Yeah, surprise. It says a, dis a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. So for some of you, I don't know, there could be an opportunity to travel. You might be meeting someone new. This could even be your twin flame. Maybe you're not already on your journey, but you could be about to be. I feel like you want to take somebody's breath away with speechless and paralyzed. They are going to work up the courage to say something to you. Or that might be your energy. I don't know. But this feels good. A, a future, a surprise in the future. We'll take the first one that fell out. We have signs. Your future positive, another future card. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. So the universe is talking to you. Pay attention to, to pay attention to signs, synchronicities, 
Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your own intuition. Bottom of the deck, we have romance, y'all. You can't make it up. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Listen, beautiful. Okay, let's get into some tarot and see what's going on here with this future energy and you traveling. So we have the temperance. Some of you could just be going on like a vacation, a retreat, just to kind of get some peace. You know, this is peace and serenity. You could be going to like a really beautiful um, tropical place or something. Some of y'all just need to dip y'all toe in the water here. Some of y'all need to get out of this earth energy that y'all know we love being in and just kind of get more into your feelings, into your emotions, because this is the balance of masculine feminine energy. So, yeah, this is beautiful. And this is also Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel. OK, it could be either. But um, you could be meeting someone who feels like an earth angel or um, this could be a soulmate coming in. A temperance card is a soulmate. What is this? But just a lot, a lot of peace in your life. Maybe traveling, a change of scenery actually brings you a lot of peace. What is this? Great social fun. You could be meeting people you feel very, um, like you have harmonious energy with. Yeah, look at this, the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is a work trip or something coming up or some kind of collaboration that you have if you have your own business or like you're a content creator or something like that. I feel like something major is happening. This is rewards and recognition. I also feel like your angels, your guys are blessing you with someone who's a team player. Yeah, because this talks about somebody that balances you out and this is team player energy. This is like the perfect partner. Could be a Capricorn. It could be three years older or younger than you or I don't know. Some of you uh, may meet this person over the next three years or maybe you already have the previous three years. I don't know. Yeah, look at that balance. The Justice card. Could be a Libra. What's going on with the Temperance card? So something is just coming into balance here. The two of wands, you're definitely traveling soon, some of you. Y'all could be going on a trip. Okay, two of wands is Aries energy, so you could be on the Aries Taurus cusp, or this could be an Aries, or you're meeting someone at a distance, y'all. It could be a full work trip here. Hmm. There could be like three feminines going on a trip, or just three people. It doesn't have to be three feminines, but three feminines are in the card, so that's why I said it. Yeah, so this two of wands talks about wanderlust. And it's like all of a sudden you get the urge to travel or some kind of trip might come across your your desk all of a sudden and you find yourself traveling. Yeah, the two of pentacles shows up here. So this is work hard, play hard. Something that makes you feel very playful. Um, this could also be a very balanced person coming into your life here. You got a lot of twos and you have the temperance card. And then you have the three of pentacles, which is, again, team player energy, strength in numbers, pooling resources. Like you have somebody coming into your life that's going to balance you out. It could be a Capricorn or any of these other signs. You got Capricorn twice. A very hardworking person. So what's the surprise? It says a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. What is this? The justice card and the four of wands y'all a twin flame so this is like good karma this is the energy you've been putting out into the universe sending someone in that really balances you out for some of you there could be a graduation or some type of celebration a party or something that you get an invitation to take it go if you're looking for love because your person might be there a wedding a graduation any kind of get together this whoever this person is they really balance you out you got all these cards of balance the justice card rules over balance as well as the high priestess. So this could be a Libra or it could be an Aries person. Could be somebody in your community, y'all. Could be somebody you work with that you've never met yet. You know what I'm saying? Like you work in a big agency or something. You go on a company trip and then you end up meeting someone that you've never even crossed paths with before. Maybe you've even seen them before. But this is like twin flame energy here, y'all. This is a sense of belonging. Like somebody feels like home to you. It could also be a new home for some of you. You could be settling on a new home. What do you call it? Closing on a new home? Something could be going on with the inheritance of a home or something. We got the Three of Cups and we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Interesting. So we have Gemini and Cancer energy here. For some of y'all, this surprise is somebody that you at least expect hopping back up, wanting to communicate with you, wanting to reconcile with you. It could be any air sign, but namely a Gemini. And then we have Cancer here. Yeah, look at this. It could be a surprise party as well. 
Some of y'all are getting an invitation to a surprise party. I feel like this Knight of Swords is you not wanting to go in reverse. Please go because it's saying that if you attend, you might find new love or whatever it is you're searching for. You could just be making connections for business here with the three of pentacles. It doesn't have to be love if you don't want that. But this is a card of community. It's a card of teamwork. This is a card of teamwork. So this is like a team player coming into your life. Some of you are also making new friendships here. But you might be a little bit shy, paralyzed. Yeah, this this Knight of Swords in reverse can talk about somebody who, who lacks courage, who doesn't feel very empowered, who doesn't seize the moment. So I'm feeling like Spirit is telling you to tune in or pay attention to the signs, okay? What's the signs? It says doubts and confusions will soon disappear. What is this? I feel like something is about to just kind of take your breath away. So we have the Knight of Cups, and I'm going to flip him upright because I feel like I need to with the Judgment card. So we have Scorpio and Pisces energy. Hmm. So this is you making a decision about this love offer coming towards you. Somebody is asking you out on a date, and it's like you might be a little bit torn about it. Some of you feel like you've been maybe having bad dates with people. You do have romance here, and this is the hopeless romantic coming towards you. But I don't know. Maybe you've been having some bad dates recently. You just haven't found the one. But this is your ideal person. And they're part of your North Node energy, y'all. What's the, what's the Knight of Cups? Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this person is, they're financially stable. They are literally someone who cares a lot for their partner. Some of you could also be getting good news as far as an investment goes that you've made in your career, your business, your finances. What's going on with this judgment card with the Queen of Pentacles? It could also, again, be some kind of judgment going in your favor in court. Oh, wow. So look, I consider the Queen of Pentacles the little sister of the Empress. And you see how in the past you were the Queen of Pentacles and now you're the Empress. You're in receptive mode. Some of you have learned so many lessons when it comes to love. Like you've been burnt before. You've been through so much in love. And some of you are in this place where you're coming out of a karmic situation. Just like it says that, you know, coming out of a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. Somebody is coming to take care of you. Somebody is going to be loving on you real good. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. That's insane. I consider these all the same person, just different iterations or, or whatever of the same person. This is the starting point. This is the middle point, And this is the ultimate goal. This is like the beginning of success, doing really well. This is like I've mastered it. And this is just like I don't want for anything. The Empress is all the queens roll into one. But I see the Nine of Pentacles is very feminine energy. I just do. I don't know if it's supposed to be feminine energy, but I see it as feminine energy. It's earth energy and earth signs are feminine. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, some of you have definitely, you have felt like, you know what? I'm going to do this life by myself. Ain't nobody out there. Like you have felt like that. But it's manifesting for you. Some of you truly are bringing in your manifestation as far as the partner goes. Okay, so you could be leaving behind a Scorpio or an Aries. Some of you have Virgo in your chart and you have a Gemini or Virgo coming towards you. Look at that Wheel of Fortune. This is a soulmate coming in. Some of you are manifesting your soulmate. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius. So let's get some messages. That's why you're going to be speechless. You got that tower. Being single, minding your business, and all of a sudden this love comes. Because the tower can talk about falling in love suddenly and it comes out of nowhere like, hey, where'd that come from? Right? But it's because you're manifesting it. You're going to have to watch your thoughts because your thoughts become things. Right? Y'all know that saying, watch your thoughts, your thoughts become whatever. Y'all know that long saying. I don't remember all the words. But that's what this card represents, right? The, ta the intangible becoming tangible. So whatever you're thinking is what you'll manifest. Some of you will meet this person in the most serendipitous way. It's going to feel so faded. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so let's see what's going on at work. We have servant. Delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. That's that Queen of Cups energy you keep pulling. On the shadow aspect, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with a life. Okay. Well, I don't see no lack of money here for you. Got the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. The three of pentacles. Nah, you, you may not. I mean, I don't know if you're lacking money, but you won't be for long. So we have hedonist. Okay. The light attribute is inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life and celebrates the beauty in yourself. That's the empress. Some of y'all are definitely manifesting a lot of abundance and prosperity. On a shadow side of things, it talks about pursuing pleasure to the detriment of health. Indulges at the expense of others. So some kind of greed here. 
I don't feel like that's you, but you know, you never know. It could be. Then we have the fool. The light attributes are fearlessly revealing emotion and emotion and helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. <laughs> And then a shadow aspect is using humor to wound rather than liberate denial of your emotional truth. Okay. So for some of you in your workplace environment, it feels like you could be able to truly express yourself. The Empress is creative expression. Um, I feel like things feel good. You feel very um, successful and fruitful here. All this fruit. It's like she's living in that, that land of opulence. Okay. You have everything you need. The slippery slope with that, though, is sometimes we have everything we need and we could become really arrogant or whatever. So for some of you, that could be someone in your workplace you feel that way about. On the more negative side, some of you are really open-hearted people. You truly are a team player. You are an earth angel. But there could be people around you who could be taking little shots at you when it comes to, I don't know, making fun of your lack of money or um, some of you are fearful to make moves in your career. Don't be. Okay, yeah, you may have to make a decision here with the Judgment card. <clears throat> the Judgment card is also a number two in the um, Tarot, along with the High Priestess and the Justice card. So, yeah, there may be a decision that you have to make, and it may be to come out of a comfort zone here, Taurus. But there could be some kind of weird bullying going on. Even the Three of Pentacles can talk about, like, a group of people that's, like, clicking up and, you know, being stupid. But you don't have to pay attention to that. Not at all. Not at all. And here's the artist. Y'all keep pulling artist industry. I say industry. Artist energy. Expressing a, di a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses. Inspiring others to see life symbolically. Or using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. And posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. She's painting. Somebody here really does paint. Somebody here paints. Because that card... These cards with this painting and artist energy just keeps coming out for Taurus. What's your advice? So it's like you can either paint this beautiful masterpiece for yourself or you can make a, a mess and a mockery of, you know, the talent that you have, the creativity that you have. It's all about you staying kind of, I want to say humble, even though I don't like that word. But yeah, it's kind of like you staying humble right now. Like, don't be foolish. Don't get caught up in the hype of everything. We have friendship showing up here. Your affirmation is, I am a reliable and generous friend. I accept my friends for who they are and they accept me for who I am. Your message is having the confidence of a true friend, knowing they will be there for you when you need support is one of life's most valuable gifts. We need to remember not to take such things for granted to nurture our friendships and show our willingness to give our friends as much love and support as we hope to receive from them. Well, I do believe that some of you are very much people who give. It says here that you de you delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. And look what you have. Earth angel energy going into the three of pentacles, meaning you are a team player. You will help anyone out. I don't know that that always works out for you. You know, you may feel like it doesn't, but keep, keep doing it anyway. Okay. Yeah, because as the Empress, you have definitely unconditional love. And you have the Empress here twice. And you also have Queen of Cups energy here. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. And these are all nurturers. These are all, to me, divine feminine energy. Because they represent the heart space. The Queens represent the heart space. And that's what divine feminine energy is all about. Truly. Okay, y'all. Those are your messages. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to try to take this weekend off. Hopefully, I can stick to that. Yeah, because I got me some plans for tomorrow. Sunday, I'm going to rest. And then I'll be back on Monday. So enjoy your weekend, Taurus. Peace, y'all.